Hello clarinets, this is our video for mouthpiece barrel and reed assembly and we're going to jump right in. Go ahead and lay your case flat on a surface, table is good, a chair is good, and you can unzip or unlatch and open that case. And today we're only going to be working with the mouthpiece and the barrel. A couple other things that you may need, you'll need your cork grease so that you can grease your cork, and you'll need a reed to put on your mouthpiece. Now we're going to start first with our mouthpiece and this is our um, mouthpiece cover. We're going to leave that inside of our case and our ligature we're also going to place inside of our case and we're going to use that in just a second. Let's apply some cork grease here. Now this is a brand new container of cork grease and you just twist to open. It'll look like chapstick. And to apply, you just apply just a light amount around the surface of the cork on your mouthpiece. Now you don't have to overdo it. And when you're done, you will take the small end of the barrel. There's a large end which goes to the body and the top part, which is the small part. And go ahead and with your hands, go ahead and twist those together and work them so that they're nice and smooth. You'll want to line your mouthpiece up with the label of your barrel and know that the front of your mouthpiece is the side without the hole in it. That would be the back of the mouthpiece. Let's go ahead and grab our ligature. The ligature slips onto the mouthpiece. Now you can put it on upside down, but it won't fit. If you try to do this and you try to shove it on, it'll break the ligature. So your checkpoint should be that your screws of your ligature are on the right hand side. Now, I always tell my students, ligature on the mouthpiece first, then read, so that you don't chip the read. We're going to place our mouthpiece down for just a second, and we'll grab our read. Now our read comes in a protective case, but this is not the read guard. We have a Rico Royal 2.0 strength, which is exactly what we need. We're going to pull that out. And there's a flat part of the reed called the reed table, and it actually goes right in the back or the flat part of the mouthpiece. So we'll lift that reed up and we'll slide it, and we're going to hold it in one hand. And with the other hand, the flat part will slide right down the back of the mouthpiece. Now, if we take this ligature and we slide it down, it should hold this reed in place. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a slight shadow on our reed. And once you have it in place, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cinch down your reed. So pulling down on the ligature will hold it into place. And you'll want to tighten the bottom screw, not all the way tight, just until it starts to tighten nice and firm. You'll notice that the screw will not close all the way and it doesn't need to. This top screw, you'll go ahead and tighten until it just starts to stop and then back off just a little bit. That's the perfect amount of resistance that we want to hold our reed on our mouthpiece. It should be about the same pressure as holding the reed to the mouthpiece with your thumb. Now, we wanna make sure it's nice and straight so that we sound great and my reed alignment and my ligature, everything looks beautiful. Nice job. This is exactly how your mouthpiece, barrel, and reed assembly should look. Another check for us is to see the brand right here in the window of the ligature. You can repeat rewind. I would try this skill several times so that you feel confident in building your mouthpiece and barrel. Good luck. Have a great time.